You wouldn't think we're only three weeks away from Christmas with these temperatures. And speaking of Christmas, Captain Colossus Girl will hit theaters Christmas Day. But it looks like film star Olivia O'Hara will be going to the premiere alone. Ryan Wrangler stated in a recent interview that he would be taking a break from the relationship to focus on his music. With a new release expected any day now. Choirs of angels singing exultation. Sing all you say to sing so. Miss O'Hara, excuse me. Miss O'Hara, may I bother you for an autograph? Oh, you won't bother me at all. It's a pleasure. Thank you, my hero. How does it feel to be alone at Christmas? I booked a last minute flight back to Valley Hill, so if anyone's looking for me, mum's the word. Merry Christmas. Captain Colossus Girl? Hey. <laughs> Who's this guy? Santa. Is he your favorite? Yeah. yeah. What does he say? Ho, ho, ho. There you are. Mom! Thank you. I turned my bike for one second. I'm sorry. Have we met before? Oh, you know what? That's me. Merry Christmas. visited me in LA. I'm actually the shortest in fifth grade, but I make up for it in spirit. I believe it. Mr. Porter says it's not the size of the player that counts, it's the size of their game. Oh, thank you. Mom, look what it is! that you were coming. Oh, I wanted to see you guys. I missed you. Well, we missed you, too. How are you doing with with everything? Uh, great. You know, single and ready to jingle. Just, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be home. Maybe Liv can stay in my room. We can have sleepovers uh, every night. I think your sister might need a little space just to recover <laughs> after her travels. We, we kept your room exactly the same. Oh, thank you, Mom. I'm sorry. I should have called. No, don't worry. This is... <laughs> The best surprise. Oh, and you could help us bake pie. Oh, I would love to. I'm so glad you're home. Everyone's home for the holiday. <laughs> okay, come, come. Yes, okay. Wow, it looks amazing. This is so A-list. Oh, go ahead, try it on.
Oh, oh, wow, wow, wow. Do these look good? They sure do. Hey, and feel free to borrow anything. It's the sister rule. Is this for me? Uh, maybe. Guess you'll have to wait and see. <sighs> okay, I know this isn't for me. What isn't for? Sorry. That's okay. Turns out, it's not for me either. I know. You do? Yeah. Did Mom tell you? And the girls at school talk about it. And Twitter, my Facebook news, Mrs. Taylor down the street. Well, they'll uh, forget about it by Christmas. Are you staying until Christmas? Yeah, of course I am. Yes. So let me just unpack a little more and I'll meet you in the kitchen. I'm so happy you're here. We've missed you so much. <gasps> oh, I miss you too. <laughs> So we need to make sure we have enough flour. <laughs> Not too much flour, that's kind of perfect. Okay, now the secret is to work the pastry as little as possible so that it stays tender and flaky, okay? What are you making, Grandma Mary's pumpkin or my personal favorite, North Pole pie? Pumpkin. That North Pole pie, I begged your dad to give me the recipe, but it was his secret. But maybe your sister and I can figure out how to cook it while you're here. I love a challenge. There is eight days until Christmas, so once Janie perfects her pie crust recipe, we can start putting in orders. This is just my practice pie. Well, I hope we get to practice eating it. <laughs> Hang on a second. Does this recipe call for regular milk or condensed milk, huh? Uh, condensed. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Well, I, I mean, I can just go to the store. It's kind of a special ingredient. Maybe get two cans. Oh. Uh, you can use the truck while you're here. Wait, Dad's truck? You still have it? <laughs> well, no one will expect me in this. these old CDs. Casey Rollins. We, we went to high school together. Oh my gosh, Casey. Hi, of course I remember you. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. How are you? <laughs> Me? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm great. Things are, things are great. That's great. You look great. Perfectly framed. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's it been, 10 years? Um, 12. Wow. Time flies. So you're home for the holidays? Um, yes, yes, the holidays. Yeah, I'm definitely home for the holidays. <laughs> well, uh, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Okay.
Will that be all? Uh, yeah, that's everything. Oh, and the, the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Gordon. It's Olivia. I know. <laughs> I'd recognize that smile anywhere. Um, how's your family? Well, the uh, kids have kids now, and they're all home for Christmas. Wow. Well, uh, tell everybody that I said hello. I'll do that. That's uh, fourteen seventy-five. Thank you. Oh, and uh, one for you, and one for your sister. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Gordon. Must be my lucky day. <laughs> Sounds like it's not turning over, which makes me think it might be the starter. Oh. Yeah, I think you're gonna need a tow. Let's just go from bad to worse. Is the snow getting to you already? Oh no, it's it's not that. It's just what? I'm sure you've already heard. It's kind of all over the entertainment shows. But... I don't watch much TV. I've got three channels, and two of them are the weather. Okay. Hey, Jim, it's Casey. Yeah, I'm at uh, Gordon's Groceries with an old friend, and she needs a tow. An hour. Yeah. No, 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 I understand. Okay, thanks, Jim. Well, um, better get walking. I'm on a bit of a timeline, so... It's pretty dark. Can I walk you home? Um, yeah, that'd be great. Perfect. <laughs> it's funny I bumped into you. I was just thinking I needed some expert advice. Expert? Mm -hmm. Ooh, you know I only play a genius in the movies, right? It's good enough for me. <laughs> So how would you get a classroom to focus on Shakespearean classics? I'm finding it challenging. But the language, it's so beautiful. It reads <laughs> like a song. I know. The kids today, they're different than you were, or than you were. How do you mean? I saw you in all your plays. You were incredible. You know all the words. It's not their fault, though. They're distracted. Literally every answer is at their fingertips. So analyzing the Shakespearean sonnet, that's tough. But Shakespeare isn't about answers, it's about an experience. Well, when you say it like that, they might actually listen. <laughs> Your family sure loves getting in the Christmas spirit. Yeah, they sure do. Is it too much? Oh, never too much Christmas. You should see my place. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better get going. It was nice seeing you. Bye, Liv. Uh, Casey. Yeah. Thank you for helping with the truck. Maybe I could visit your students to repay you. Classroom 120, Monday to Friday, pretty much all the time. 120, anytime. Got it. <laughs> Today. <laughs> 17th? 
Only eight days until Christmas. Oh my gosh. Ooh. So pretty. There you go. Thank you. Mom, Dad, Liv's back. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, welcome. John, hi. Your mother was worried. Uh, I was not. What happened? Oh, the, the truck broke down. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. It's had problems starting over the last little while. And... No, it's okay. I really enjoyed my walk home. And the tow truck company will be giving you a call tonight. Uh, well, thank you for sorting that all out. And the Pie Patrol calls. <sighs> there is a certain young baker who is thrilled to have you home. We all are. Hey, Mom, how many pairs of Clary's Christensen boots do you own? Who? That is what I thought. Thank you for getting the groceries. Oh, me. yes, it was nice being out just shopping. Yeah? Did anyone recognize you? No. Well, actually, everybody recognized me, but not because they've seen me, because they know me. Oh, well, that must be a welcome change. Yeah, it really was. Good. Well, dinner's in half an hour. Okay. You know, Janie has not stopped talking about Permanator. It was so lucky that she could come and go to the premiere with you and walk the red carpet. Well, we loved it. We saw it five times. You saw a movie about a supergirl who uses a curling iron to fight evil five times? I thought it was full of <laughs> remarkable messages for young girls Janie's age. You have to fight for what you believe in, and our favorite, you can still kick butt on a bad hair day. <laughs> I actually wrote that line in. I was trying to add some depth, I guess. I knew it. Didn't I say? Mm -hmm. Some of those lines just sound just like Olivia. You have always been so talented. So, Terminator 2? Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe in the summer. You're not excited? I mean, don't get me wrong, those movies are great, but truthfully, they're just not feeding my soul anymore. Mm. My manager, Laura, keeps telling me that my dream role is right around the corner. It just feels like a very long corner. <laughs> Judges, Ooh. I present to you. Oh, thank you. In the tradition of Grandma the Berry. Thank you, Mom. Thanks. Janie Wilson, were there any particular difficulties you had to overcome in this pumpkin pie challenge? Yes. At a crucial step in the recipe, halfway through, I found myself missing a key component. Do you mind if we... Luckily, I was able to keep myself and my dough chill enough while my assistant was able to secure the secret ingredient. Well, and I just have to say that I find the, the presentation of the whipped cream, like, not just on top of the pie, but almost entirely covering it is a, is a brand new technique for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I like to give all of my dishes a little stamp of my personality. Judges, if you will. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Firm, yet silky texture. A delicious combination of spices. And a rich, flaky crust. Janie Wilson, this might be the best piece of pie I've ever had. I second that. <laughs> Grandma Mary, look out. Want to try it? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Red plaid? Blue plaid? <laughs> Good choice. There we go. It's looking pretty good. What do you think? Oh. I like the red plaid better anyway.
Taylor and Olivia O'Hara be getting back together, or is it splitsies for both of them? Join us for an OKLA exclusive as to what's in store for the ex-power couple, Ryan Livia. Here's what he had to say. Uh, Olivia and I remain the best of friends. Uh, she's a wonderful woman. I wouldn't be where I am without her. She fully supports me in my career and your relationship. What? What are they? Uh, in fact, she called me last night to wish me a Merry Christmas and to tell me how much she loves my new single. <laughs> Call Christmas Cutie, and it's dropping tomorrow. Download your copy of Midnight. Guys, I've got to run. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Ryan. Ryan, one more. Ryan, 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 Ryan. Well, you heard it from Ryan Wrangler's side. We'll let you know Olivia's when we find her. Good morning, Mrs. McMillan. I'm here to visit Casey of uh, Mr. Rollins's English class. Room 120. Great. Do I need a... Um, need a visitor's pass. Thank you. Olivia O'Hara. Hi, Mrs. McMillan. Oh, Olivia O'Hara. Oh, I haven't seen you in years. I mean, I see you in all your movies. I love all your movies. Oh, thank you. <laughs> My favorite one is the one where you lead that group of misfit astronauts to... Pluto. That's right, Pluto. The people in the Plutonians. Oh, I just loved you in that one. You were so fierce. <laughs> oh, to what do we owe the honor of your presence? I am I'm actually at the school to try and get Shakespeare the attention he deserves. Well, if anyone can do that, it's Olivia O'Hara. We'll always remember you as our Juliet. Oh, such passion. Get down there and show the kids what it's like to never give up on their dreams. Oh, yes. <laughs> semblance that I loved it first. What's he mean? Anybody? That's okay not to understand it the first time. See, it's a great thing about old Willie Shakes. Makes us do our own thinking. Makes us ask questions. Makes us go digging for that truth. You know, Shakespeare isn't about the answers, guys. It's about an experience. Well, I couldn't have said it better myself. What fire is in mine ears? Can this be true? Contempt. Farewell. No glory lives behind the phone of such. I will requite thee. Thank you. Thank you. In the meantime, some necessary question of the play be then to be considered. Oh. Act four, scene one. I'm sure you remember the theater. Oh, it never gets old. <laughs> you know, I think every movie I've ever made has been an attempt to recreate the feeling I first had right here. <laughs> 
And that is... <clears throat> Gallop apace, you fiery footed steeds. <laughs> oh, I miss it. The community, the creativity. It was, oh, it was magic. Well, you're not gonna like this then. We had to cancel the Christmas Eve play. It's the first time in school's history. I'm sorry. Cancel the Christmas Eve play? Why? Nicole, our drama teacher, she's on maternity leave. As teachers, we tried to rally together, but we couldn't pull it off. So there's no, there's no drama teacher right now? No, the kids just use it as a study block. Well, that won't do. Thank you again, Liv. You're really inspiring. Oh, anytime. I hope you mean that. This went well, I take it. It did. Lovely seeing you again, Mrs. M. Our door is always open. Bye, Casey. Bye, Liv. New shirt? Hmm? Oh, yeah, you like it? I do. <laughs> Nice to see a blossoming friendship between you two. I have a feeling Olivia could use that right now. Uh, could you please take these to recycling? As long as she's here, I don't want any unpleasant reminders. You know what that girl could use right now? Hmm. A gorgeous old friend to take her down memory lane. Hmm. Nothing cures heartbreak like ice cream. Ice cream, huh? <laughs> Earning your keep? Um, yeah, you could call it that. Think you can sneak away for a little break? What do you have in mind? Well, thank you for your active service this morning. They are serving festive flavored milkshakes at the diner. But that was me thanking you for yesterday. Milkshakes, and we'll call it even. Deal. I'll take that. Oh, thank you. I'll meet you in the truck. Okay. Hey. <laughs> if there is ever an option, eggnog is the only answer. Oh, no. Agree to disagree. Chocolate and peppermint together? Oh, there's nothing better. Really? Want to trade? used to bring me here all the time. This place has not changed. Win or lose, you treat the whole team after every game. He's a great guy. Incredible coach. He's an incredible father. <laughs> so, how long did you stay here in town for? Um, just until things calm down in LA, or until they find me. Who's they? <laughs> the paparazzi. <laughs> right now, my personal life's a bit, well, let's just say Shakespeare would call it a comedy of errors, and that sells magazines, so. Sorry, that's the thing for you. You have to go through everything so publicly. Like breakups. Hey, you're up. And that is why I cannot wait for this cheeseburger. I'm looking forward to it almost as much as my mom's Christmas marshmallow yams. Marshmallows on yams. Oh, absolutely. It's an O'Hara specialty. <laughs> Sounds delicious, actually. And not too difficult. Do you cook? I reheat. Really well. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just so busy. The team practices most nights, and then on the weekends, we're traveling, so. So, I mean, do you have someone special in your life? Yeah, you could say that. Amazing, Casey, and you should. We met a year ago when I got back, and we have been inseparable ever since. We don't speak the same language, but we have a deeper connection. A teacher? Not exactly, but I do learn from her every day. How to play, how to love unconditionally, 
and had to hide melt bones in between the couch cushions. <laughs> oh, you're talking about your dog. Okay. Who did you think I was talking about? I, don't know. <laughs> I work with Teach for America, so I get transferred to a new city and a new school every two years. It's really rewarding, but it's a little hard to give a relationship what it deserves when you're always on the move. I get that. I travel for work, too, a lot. It's a juggling act, career and love. I've always been so driven. I think it's something that people find intimidating. No, it's not intimidating. It's inspiring. What's, I mean, what's inspiring is what you're doing at Eagle Heights. Now, that takes bravery. No, I just hope I can do enough for those kids. Drama was the first to go, but with all of our busy schedules, it's... Not the last. Look, I know it's only a week before Christmas, but I have an idea. Maybe I could, maybe I could pick up where Nicole left off and help get the Christmas Eve play back on its feet. Yeah? Yes, yes, <laughs> I'm in. That's, that is fantastic. Double cheeseburgers, double cheese, no tomato. Cooked to perfection. That looks amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry to bother you, but can we have your autograph? Obviously, dinner is on the house. Of course, and thank you, Starla. <laughs> I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> well, enjoy you two. <laughs> thank you. Hey, I didn't say that fame didn't have its upsides. <laughs> <laughs> a.m. pickup, maybe wear comfortable shoes. What, what is wrong with these? They're Clarice Christensen. Olivia O'Hara, no one from Colorado should be wearing shoes like that in the middle of winter. Of course not. <laughs> Get some rest. You're gonna need it. Hey, Liv. How were the milkshakes? Oh, they were just as good as I remember. <laughs> How's Mr. Rollins? Mr. Rollins is actually driving me to school tomorrow. I'm hoping to fill in at the drama department and possibly direct the Christmas Eve play. Well done, Liv. Back on the boards. That's wonderful, honey. Thanks. I made this one for you. It's a star, like you. It's beautiful. Thank you. Hey, where should I put it? Somewhere by a Christmas light, so it sparkles. Okay, um, how about there? That's perfect. <laughs> huh, is this a hotel key card? Yeah, this is the weirdest thing. I don't know how it ended up in our backyard. The Pine Point Hotel. Where is that? Pine Point. I, I think that's the new hotel that just opened downtown fancy. Oh, the paparazzi might know I'm here. Paparazzi named Stephanie Mitchell from Universal Star Magazine in my hometown. 
Whatever story she is writing, end it. End it now. Mr. Rector, how was your sleep? Oh, I just, you know, need a coffee. Yeah, kind of... Oh, thank you. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> Olivia! Hi, Hi, how are you? Better now. <laughs> There's no way I could ever thank you enough. You are a Christmas miracle. But, cookies? <laughs> oh my gosh, two boys and one on the way. Where do you find the time to make these? During the holidays, we turn them into an assembly line. One cuts the shapes and frost, and the youngest one mostly just makes a mess. Oh. <laughs> so I talked to Nicole last night. They were halfway through rehearsals, so you can just pick up where she left off. This is the most amazing thing that's happened all year. The students will love you. Oh, we'll, we'll see about that. They will. <laughs> this whole town loves you. Ever since you stole our hearts in the spring play. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I looked up to you. You were the star of that show. I remember being so moved by your solo. Well, at the time, I could hit the high E. But I don't know. When you stepped on stage, you just had it. <laughs> this is the Christmas Eve playbook, <clears throat> tech cues, and everything else you'll need. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And of course, if you have any questions at all, I'm only a phone call away. Thank you, Olivia. Well, thank you for the cookies. Thank the boys. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Nicole. I'm just down the hall. You're gonna do great. Break a leg. O'Hara. I'm Gabby. I was Mrs. Hudson's assistant, and I'd be really honored to continue doing that job. Oh, sure. Yeah. Great. I will take this and put this on your desk, which is right here. Here is the class list. Oh, thank you. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Miss O'Hara, but you can call me Olivia. Great. OK. Um, okay. Well, we have Gabby. Um, is there Brittany? Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Uh, Chris. <clears throat> Chris, yes, I like it. Uh, Jack. Jack Carson. Well, Jack Carson comes whenever he wants. OK. Um, well, most of you are here. Um, so you know what? Uh, let's get started with a warm up. If everyone can take off their bags and just meet me on stage. <laughs> Oh, hey, you must be Jack. We're just getting started if you'd like to join us. All right. Okay. So there's something else we have to take off, our cool. This is a place to be open, to be free, to be you. Nicole did a great job with the play already. They're almost off book. I taught them a little trick to help them memorize their lines, and I mean, they seem to like it. You are natural. Well, I couldn't get Jack Carson to join in, but. Yeah, Jack's a tough one to get through, too. He lost his dad last year. You know, I think you might be the one who can finally reach him. Me? I want to show you some. Your mom presents it every year. Supportive and generous. Well, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Oh. Oh. I'll uh, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Do you 
have the tape. Mm -hmm. oh. Are all of these for Janie? I know. <laughs> I just can't help myself. Well, I hope my online shopping makes it on time. I managed to bring a few things from LA, but your presence is our present. I forgot how special it feels to be home for Christmas. Yeah. Hawaii was nice with everyone a couple years ago, but, but the surfing Santas don't really cut it, do they? <laughs> no. You know, I just had this story in my head that I, I couldn't be at home at Christmas without Dad. Yeah, I understand. I mean, you know, I've learned that Christmas really is a time when we can be with everybody again, even if it's just in, in memories or, you know, traditions. Who can that be? Whoa. John has good taste. They're for you. What? They're from Ryan. I haven't heard from him since he broke up our engagement over text. Honey, I'm so sorry. It's okay. We had been drifting apart for a while, and our schedules were never really matching up. And he, he wasn't always so into being famous. He was really sweet and humble, and he would <laughs> write these songs. But now he's just... So, are you going to let him know that you got his flowers? I... I don't know how I feel about all this. I just... You know what, I want to be home for Christmas and focus on the students and the play. You know, whenever life has handed you a challenge, you have always managed to turn it into something just magical. And that is exactly what you're doing with this play at the school. I hope so. Oh, it is, honey. I can feel it. You want a hot chocolate? Yeah, I love yeah. that. Welcome back. I'd like to have a spectacular ending. I want the audience talking about the finale into the new year, and I'm open to suggestions. Oh, maybe we could have snow falling on the stage. It's a great idea. Yeah. Yes, Brittany. Um, well, I'm just hoping I don't freeze and forget everything. You won't. We'll keep practicing. It's gonna be fantastic. I'd be willing to sing a solo or two. Okay. <laughs> Jack, you could... At least applaud every now and then if you're just going to be an audience member. Jack, can I see you in the hallway, please? Now? I'm um, just, uh, you know, keep practicing, everyone. an elective you selected for this semester. If you don't want to participate, then why are you here? Easy A. Okay, well, right now you're on track for an easy F. Whatever. Look, I know high school isn't easy for anyone, and I, I know it's hard to put your heart into anything after it's been You broken. don't know me. Okay, you're right. I don't. But I think I might be able to relate to what you're going through. Have you ever heard of the Michael O'Hare Memorial Scholarship? Of course. That's my dad. We lost him my senior year, right around this time. I miss him every day. Okay, if you don't want to perform in the play, that's fine. But you, you can't just sit in the back. You have to move forward, even if it's with small steps to start. What am I supposed to do? Well, um, we could really use a hair and makeup person or a, a costumes captain. I like music. Okay, 
Yeah, okay, music, that's great. Um, we could really use a soundtrack. Christmas carols? Okay, yeah. I don't know, uh, I make beats. Yes, okay, how about some carols and some original music? Yeah, maybe. Okay, and maybe you could bring in some recordings for like maybe the end of the week? Sure. and we don't have a Santa costume. The school doesn't have any costumes in storage. Maybe I can make a beard with cotton balls? I will just, I will go out and pick up everything we need. We need a lot. My Christmas present to the class. Okay. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for all your hard work. I am so excited to see you up there on the big stage of the community hall. Whatever your department needs, write it down on Gabby's list and I will take care of everything. <laughs> Got this. <laughs> Christmas. Thank you. Take care. First one in, last one out, Mr. Rollins. Uh, I'd squeeze in one last practice. And Merry Christmas. Thank you for coming out on Saturdays for our games. Okay, see, you should not, but I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> Is there anyone else special on your list this year? Like. Mm, I've seen the way you and Olivia look at each other. Uh, I'm not a celebrity, and she's a movie star. She's also just a girl trying to find her way in the world. And you're a great guy, Casey, and I know teaching fulfills you, but I'm afraid you don't know what you're missing. I stopped by the rehearsal room. She wasn't there. I'd check the diner if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> Some things are worth fighting for. And there's no better time than Christmas for a little magic. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi there, Stephanie. Hand over the camera. No. Thank you, Starla. No one messes with our Olivia. You got this? Yeah, I do. Oh, this is, this is heavier than I expected. It feels expensive. Yeah, so expensive. Can I have it back? Mm, I think I'll keep it. If I don't get a story to my editor by Christmas, I will lose my job. Then you should have chosen another line of work. I went to journalism school. I wanted to tell stories of hope and humanity. But this is what everyone wants. To watch along as my life implodes. It's not right. It's not. But the only stories that sell more magazines are ones of redemption, which is why I was trying to get some shots of you and your new boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Okay, you can have the camera back. If you turn over everything you have on me, photos, journals, digital copies, just tell your editor that I didn't come home, I wasn't here. Please, come on, this is my life. Okay. Deal. Deal. Clarice Christensen boots aren't made for Colorado winters, are they? <laughs> Tell me about it. Thank you, Stephanie. Oh, thank you for the backup, Starla. I'll take my check, please. Okay. Take too much work home with you. Casey. Yeah, well, you know, big show tomorrow night. Hey, listen. Since you're gonna be busy for the next couple nights, maybe you'd like to go out tonight. Tonight, like, like a real date. Yeah, tonight, like a real date. Yeah, I'd love to. <sighs> no, I have got this. Technically, you got the last one. I will pick you up at 8. 8? I'll be ready. <laughs> uh, no peeking. Oh, hi. Sorry. <laughs> I thought it was your mom. <laughs> you know, she always knows what I'm going to get her. Every year. I don't know how she does it. She holds a gift. She looks at it. She knows. This year, my goal is to actually surprise her. Wow, well, I mean, whatever it is, she's gonna love it. Well, good, because I love her. You really do. Yeah. Thank you for being there for her when I couldn't, and for making her so happy again. I envy the kind of love that you two have. It'll happen for you too, Liv. Thank you. Anytime, kid. <laughs> Honey, close the door. Yes, of course. So nice. He really is, but I don't know what to wear. I don't know if it's gonna be inside or outside. Better to always be prepared. Boots? Check. Well, socks? Bored moms. Scarf? Gloves? Earmuffs? Mm. Hang on. I was going to wait for Christmas morning, but this seems like the perfect moment. Are you sure? I love them. Thank you. Merry Christmas Eve, Eve. Oh, Merry Christmas Eve, Eve, Janie. Good luck on your date. 
Thank you. <laughs> I'm taking you to the newest restaurant in town, opening night. Ooh, I love her premiere. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Casa Rollins. <laughs> oh, hi, darling. This is the house that you grew up in? Yeah, it is. I'm house-sitting while my parents are away. This place is Christmassy. I love it. <laughs> yeah, Dolly and I are spending Christmas this year with my parents in Florida, so we really get into decorating before it's all white sand instead of white snow. Oh, I, I didn't know that you were leaving. Well, tomorrow night, after the play, booked a Christmas Eve red eye flight months ago. So I was thinking I would bump up Christmas dinner a couple of nights. Two hearts by the fire, one bottle of wine. Three hours doesn't feel like enough. You made my favorite yams? My mom walked me through it over the phone. <laughs> I even added the mini marshmallows. This is... I don't know what to say. Two old friends and new traditions. Turkey was perfect. I'm glad you liked it. Room for dessert? Full mm. disclosure, I sort of hired a pastry chef. North Pole pie? Only my dad knew how to make it. I talked to your mom. Her and Janie were practicing to surprise you. I lucked out. <clears throat> How are you feeling about the show tomorrow? Um, pretty good, thanks. We just have to sync up Jack's music with the finale. Um, Jack's music? Yeah, he composed an original score. He's really come out of his shell. It's amazing to watch. Wow. And I was hoping that you could help him with the soundboard or maybe the lights. Yeah, of course. I'd love to help out. You know, I almost wish that I could just stay on as drama teacher and just leave Hollywood behind for a bit. <laughs> Don't imagine this is how you pictured your life right about now. <laughs> no. But there's no other place I'd rather be. Okay, I have a confession. I said that my dad made us watch all your games, but it was really just because I had the biggest crush on you. Really? I was crazy about you. I would search for you in the stands. <laughs> My dad actually asked me to stop attending so much. That actually makes sense. I would get so nervous, I couldn't even shoot the ball. <laughs> wow. I only knew back then. Well, I mean, you know now, and here we are. I know peppermint chocolate's kind of your thing. That was, um, was a lovely evening and an amazing meal. Thank you for sharing it with me. Good night. Good night.
Brian, what are you doing here? I miss you. Oh, good. I know. I deserve to feel like this. Get my flowers? Yes, but what, what, why are you here? I made a mistake. I thought Laura was the answer. Laura, my, my manager. I, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I messed up. I should have known no one compares to Olivia O'Hara. What if I wasn't her? What do you mean? What if I, I wasn't Olivia O'Hara? Movie star, no studio deal, no movie franchise. What if I was just Liv, a, a girl from Valley Hill? Uh. What did your single chart? <clears throat> Duh, didn't. But that's not why I'm here. Okay, but, Ryan, I, I'm not, I am not going back to LA with you. I am home for Christmas. Olivia, I love you. I want us back. I want you back. I'll do whatever it takes. Call me. Okay? Wow. have a deal. We still have a deal. There are photos on, on every magazine, on every website. You lied to me. Olivia, it wasn't me. What? I called my editor just like you said. I told her you weren't in town. I fly out tonight. Olivia, I didn't write the story. Okay, then who wrote the story, Stephanie? Ryan Wrangler. Ryan? Ryan has a deal with the network media. He arranged for them to follow him to Valley Hill and he staged the photo op. Wait, last night was... was staged? I don't know what he said to you, but he knew there were cameras taking your picture because he paid them to be there. I... I can't even... I'm so sorry, Olivia. Uh, I think I'm just gonna stay here tonight. I have to... Okay, I need to lay down. Oh, good girl. Thank you. This packing's gonna have to wait. Come on. Thank you for coming. I opened the theater door, but the students need supervision. It's no problem. I'll do my best to help them with the run through. Well, she's probably just running behind. Movie stars, you know, they're always late. <laughs> She'll be here. Don't hang up. Guess what? We're trending. I don't care if we're trending, Ryan. Ryan Olivia, back together for Christmas. We can release a joint statement. Let's give the people what they want. It's not what I want. It's not? You're a great musician, Ryan. Hmm. But you want the whole world to love you. I just want to be with someone who just wants me. The real me. So we're not getting back together? Never. I really hope you find what you're looking for. Goodbye, Ryan. Ooh.
room service. Hi. Eggnog, fruitcake, and gingerbread, man. Where would you like it? Um, you can just, you can leave it here. Thanks. Just sign here. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, I just wanted to say um, thank you. My kid brother, he's uh, been having a hard time since her dad passed. And, well, it's, it's just been nice seeing him enjoying something again. You're Jack's older brother. <laughs> That uh, thing that you told Jack, that we can't sit in the back row of life, we have to keep moving forward. It, it made an impact. Y you've made a real impact. Oh, I, I mean, I don't know about no, you, this. You, you have. Being there, even showing up, it's inspired them to show up for themselves. I'll see you at the show. Every year I put it up for sale. And every year I just can't bear to see it go. Sound of a revving engine still brings me back to Saturday mornings as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> when I left, it wasn't my plan to never come home for Christmas. Oh, I know, honey. It's just this this broken faucet and everything was pouring out of me. I didn't know how to manage it, so I just turned it off. And I had to let you go. But you were always close to my heart. And if you hadn't left, then you would never have become the wonderful woman that you are today. And I don't love you because you're a movie star. I love you because you're my daughter. I love you too, Mom. You know, I have watched you in awe for years. Your determination, your confidence, your strength. But nothing has made me more proud than the Olivia that has emerged over the course of you putting together this play. Well, I just failed on everyone. <laughs> you know, they needed me to be there and I just ran away again. Casey took the students through their run-through, but I still didn't have time to get all the costumes that we need, and... I have a ton of decorations. And finding costumes shouldn't be too difficult. Now, I'm sure that Casey is covering for you, but we should hurry. Oh, Casey. Mm. Are you worried about the front page? Is it true? Is Rylivia back on? No. But I'm, how do I explain this? I'm just, I'm all out of places to run to. Then stop running, honey. You tell him what is true. And if the world is making up stories about you, then you go out there and you show them who you really are. Okay? your job. Redemption. It's the best-selling story you can get. Are you giving me an exclusive? A front row exclusive. Valley Hill Community Hall, 6 p.m. You'll get your story. And what do you get? My life back. The show will start in 10 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, the show will begin in 10 minutes. The show's just supposed to start. Take your seat. Enjoy the show. Oh, 
whole house. <laughs> Glad you made it. Your students are going to be thrilled to see you. Casey, I... You don't have to explain yourself. If you're happy, I'm happy. But it's not true. I saw the paper, Liv. You're telling me that didn't happen? Okay, it's... It's true, but it wasn't real. Ryan ambushed me, and that picture was just a publicity stunt to sell his album. He staged the whole thing. It is over with him. But this... I mean... This is real. Your dad would be so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. Hey, you've got to cast a pep talk. I'll yes. see you after the show. Break a leg. The show must I don't have a Santa hat. As they say in the biz. I, I can't remember my lines. Has anyone seen a Santa hat? The show must go on. No hat, no lines, no director. No problem. The show must go on. She's right. <laughs> hey, guys. How you feeling? Good? Okay, you know what? Sometimes on stage and in life, you get set back with unexpected challenges. Life doesn't have a dress rehearsal. You go out and you give it everything you've got. Keep moving forward, right, Jack? Chris, you stand a hat? Brittany, you've got this. Trust yourself. It is okay to be nervous. Dig deep and let it fuel you. These are the moments that define you as artists. And your acts of courage will inspire others in theirs. Oh, you have all worked so hard, and I am already so proud. All the world's a stage, and tonight, the stage is yours. I'll be watching from the wings. Now, let's get your costumes on. Yes. <laughs> It was the night before Christmas, but didn't feel near it. Why can't I hear it? One little girl had lost her Christmas spirit. No mistletoe? No big red bow? If I don't find Christmas... There won't be a show. <laughs> Maybe it's closer than Hillside or Brook. It isn't outside you. Just trust us. We've looked. Hold on. I'm getting something. It's very... It's close. I think my journey has come to an end. The spirit is here in the warmth of a friend. you're holding that's Christmas good night I'd like to welcome to the stage our director who led us with passion inspiration and Overall, unwavering dedication. Eagle Heights' very own, Olivia O'Hara.
It was such an honor working with these courageous students. Being back home for Christmas and reconnecting with my roots, it means more to me than you can imagine. Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> Bravo. You did it. <laughs> I think I like this directing thing. Hands down, the best Christmas Eve play ever. Oh, well, well thanks to you. Cast party at the diner. <laughs> I mean, if you're not busy, then you're invited too, Mr. Rollins. Well, usually I can't turn down an invitation to the diner, but I've got a flight to catch. Right, of course. <laughs> <laughs> this was... You're incredible. Olivia Hera. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Casey. <laughs> encore! Encore! This is so amazing! <laughs> oh, thank you. Liv, beautiful. Your mother cried. Wow. You really pulled it off, sweetheart. Fantastic. Thank you for coming. We'll warm up the car. Original Captain Claus scroll jacket I wore it in all three films. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, oh you know, oh, I'll get, oh, I'll get it. Casey. <laughs> I changed my flight. I don't want to spend another day, let alone Christmas without you. Christmas is the time to be with the one you love. So here I am. Hoping that you feel the same way about me too. Being back home made me believe in myself again, but being with you made me believe in love. If life is anything like the movies, then... You are my happy ending. So I guess this would be the part where... <laughs> would you like to come in and meet your fans? I would love to. This feels like the merriest Christmas ever. It does now. 